The chassis, neuroptics, and systems of the Warframe Grendel can be acquired after purchasing each of the locator keys from the arbitration vendor within the Arbiters of Hexus room in the relays, with each locator costing 25 Vitus Essence. As for where to acquire the blueprint for Grendel, you can buy it for 35,000 credits in the in-game market. To acquire Vitus Essence, you'll need to play Arbitration Missions, which unlock after you complete every node on the star chart and have completed every quest up to the Chimera Prologue as of recording this video. Arbitration Missions will appear as an alert in your world state window, and only one endless mission will appear at a time. The missions will reward a single Vitus Essence for each round and wave completed and or squad or excavator saved, depending on the mission type. You'll also have a chance at them dropping from the arbitration drones within these missions. Once you have purchased a locator, a mission specific to it will appear on Europa in the star chart. These missions will take away your Warframe and Weapon mods and any Arcanes you had equipped. Plus, you won't be able to use your Operator. Although, at the moment of recording, Augment mods can be used. Only the host requires a locator, so you can invite people from your clan or recruitment chat to assist, and you can choose to help them get the reward without them making a purchase, or each of you can pay for a different locator. Person 1 buys the Neuroptics, Person 2 buys the Chassis, and Person 3 gets the Systems. But that choice is up to you. Either way, whoever is in your squad when you complete the mission will get the part. Each mission will be against the Corpus, and they'll be level 40 to 45. And once you complete a mission, you'll be rewarded with a blueprint for whatever part was tied to the mission you ran, as well as the members in your squad. The Neuroptics locator grants Grendel's Neuroptics after you complete the revealed 20-minute survival mission. The Shazzy locator grants Grendel's Shazzy after you complete the 15-wave defense mission. And the Systems locator grants the Systems of Grendel once you complete the 800 Cryotic Excavation mission. If you fail any of these missions, don't fret, as you can replay the missions until you complete them. At the point where you successfully complete a mission, both the locator and node will be removed from the star chart and your inventory, but once again, you are guaranteed the part's blueprint upon success. If you wish to play the missions after you acquire a part, you will have to purchase the locator again from the arbitration vendor. Before I continue, it is also important to note that these missions, based on the developer comments, seem to be designed for groups and teams. So if you are a solo player, this will be extremely painful to complete, especially the defense or excavation missions. But from testing and community comments, it is still possible, just time consuming and will require a lot of trial and error. The following tips and setups were shared by viewers and are for solo and team play. As mentioned before in the video, you can request help from players in your clan or recruitment chat if need be, as only the host needs the locator. One of the most popular weapon suggestions was that players use Syndicate weapons that grant energy upon build-up. Syndicate weapons that grant that bonus are Red Veil, aka the Ractor variant, and Cephalon Suda, aka the Cyanoid weapon variant. Others had also suggested the use of the Harudo or Karudo melee weapons, as they can regenerate health upon critical hit. Hammer melee weapons were also highly suggested, as they are great for slam damage and heavy slam damage. The Architytron was mentioned the most alongside the Wolf Sledge for that weapon type if you own them. For the survival mission, I highly suggest attempting to kill whatever you can and holding off using the life support towers until you get to about 10 to 20% of the life support, and once at that point, you use the towers to bring you back up to 60 to 70% and repeat that process. For defense missions, if the pod loses enough health, you can let it heal itself by leaving or distracting an enemy so it attacks you instead of the pod. I found that the attack drone seemed to be the best unit to leave alive for the healing process, as it did not target the pod. This process will take some time if your pod was critically damaged, and it will be your only option when playing solo. The best point to do this seems to be every 5 waves. And lastly, for the excavation mission, many players suggest that you use the excavator and wait for the base 20 karotic to finish. Once finished and uncharged, let the corpus destroy it and move on to the next set of excavators. You want to repeat this process until you reach 800 cryotic needed to extract. Also, make sure you survive. As for the suggested Warframe setups, they follow. For solo play, it is suggested that you use tanky frames with slam and heavy slam melee attacks. Hildren casting her 2 and 3 while slamming works great. Anaros and his desiccation, so you can open enemies up to finishes when you have enough energy, helped with at least my survival run. Others had also shared that Revenant's enthralled units can assist in taking down multiple units. 
Lastly, for solo play, Octavia using her mallet and resonator while hiding worked insanely well, at least for me, in the defense mission. I casted and watched the duo kill everything for the defense mission while grabbing energy during the round transitions. The only thing to note is that you will have to watch out for nullifiers by popping them with your weapon versus near the end of the mission run, and of course, your own health, as you are quite weak as Octavia. As for the group play, use Frost for defending and survivability by casting Snow Globe over teammates and objectives, Saren and her spores using Ignis or other weapons as a spore popper, Hildren using the aforementioned 2 and 3, Limbo with Cataclysm and the Rift, using a Trinity in your squad for Energy Vampire will help generate energy as well as the ability to heal and assist your teammates with her other abilities, Wisp using her moats with the 3rd plus 4th ability was highly suggested, and lastly Nidus for building stacks and gathering units up in his little bundle. Now if you have a suggestion, like always the comment section is down below for you to assist, or if you want to know other methods that weren't what I said, it's there so you can learn other players' tactics. But before I end, to repeat the process on how to get Grendel, you'll first have to access arbitration missions by completing every node on the star chart. When you do, you need to run arbitration missions until you have enough Vitus Essence to purchase Grendel's part locators, which can be done at the arbitration vendor in the relays. There are three locators, with each costing 25 Vitus Essence. Once you have a locator, they reveal missions on Europa, and these missions will remain active even if you fail within said missions until you successfully complete them. When you complete one of these missions, you'll be granted the part for Grendel based on the mission that you ran. These missions will also disable the use of Warframe and Weapon mods, Arcanes, and your Operator. Once you have acquired the parts for Grendel, you'll need the following resources to build the parts. For the Neuroptics, you'll need 15,000 credits, 2 Argon Crystal, 5 Circuits, 5 Control Modules, 3,500 Ferrite, and 3,800 Alloy Plate. For the Chassis, you'll need 15,000 credits, 25 Chondroc Wing, 30 Kawaka Spinal Claws, 20 Trelloc Eyes, and 15 Mercury Liver. And for the systems, you'll need 15,000 credits, 1,125 circuits, 10 Morphix, 125 fish meat, and 100 fish oil. And that is it. Thank you for those who shared suggestions on how to complete these missions, especially solo. And for those who watched, hopefully those suggestions will provide you with options when trying to complete these missions. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.